Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a while and I just have been creating some new content for you guys. I want you guys to stay tuned, like, comment and subscribe. I have a special for you guys at the end of the video. I'll put it in the link at the bottom and I'll know that you watched it all the way to the end if you comment below. I'm going to begin with this perfume. This is the Prada Candy Floral. It has a floral kind of powdery scent. Not too much powder, but it is good. It has white musk in it, caramel. It's a sensuous floral scent. I'm going to spray a little bit of it. Oh, yeah. Just like I remember. I've had it for a while, but this is good. This is... Ooh, it smells nice. Yummy. One. Done. <laughs> So we're going to go into this next perfume from Dolce & Gabbana. It's called Dolce. This is a fresh floral scent. It has, the keynote is papaya blossom and amaryllis. I'm just looking into my laptop over here. Um, it is a fresh floral scent, just like I said. Oh, see, I know my stuff, you know. So let's just give it a spray. Yeah. I see what they say about the fresh floral scent. Every time I wear it, it's so nice. Like, I do recommend this one. Usually, usually all my scents I'm going to recommend because they smell bomb.com. Okay? So, next we're going to go in with this. We're going to discuss this Juicy Couture scent. This scent smells kind of like candy, but like a dark vibe like you could wear it out on the date night or something like that if you like to smell like you know sweet um let's give it a spray yeah very sweet very like um you know if you like to smell like candy and stuff like that this scent and you see how beautiful the bottle is oh my goodness juicy couture you know this is a good smell if you want to smell like candy for the night. <laughs> so, I do recommend this one based on your preference. If you want to smell like a candy girl, this is it here, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you. And next fragrance we're going to go in with is this Cartier perfume. Um, Lise Rose. I've had this for some time as well. It is... Um... The bottle has a flip top. It's very cute and nifty. It has a bit of a powdery scent to this one. Like I used to really be in love with it like a long time ago. I'm not in love with it as much, but when I smell it again, it gives me nostalgia. So, you know, some of these scents are like stuff you remember. It's nostalgic. So, let me spray it and see if it brings back any memories. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is kind of powdery like I said, but it's a good powdery. It smells like roses and stuff like that. Like it's like a rose water powdery kind of smell. Like it's really, really good. I do love the bottle for sure. This bottle is so cute. So if you're into powdery floral scents, this one would be a good choice. It's Cartier. And... The next perfume we're going to go in with is Juliet Has a Gun. <laughs> when I heard the name of it, I was like, Juliet Has a Gun? What is this? What is it about? And the scent I have is Lady Vengeance. Oh, this has a bit of must to it. So it's really sexy. It's good for date night. You know, I'm going to look at my screen right here. It has Bulgarian Rose, Patchouli, Lavender, and vanilla I smell a vanilla and I smell a patchouli for sure they said the style of it is rich sensual and seductive see like I said date night <laughs> so let me just give it a spray give you guys a vibe you know let it, let you know what it's giving okay Whew. I told you sexy this scent is sexy okay I almost want to spray it on myself, but I'm going to leave myself for something else to spray on me later on. I don't want to mix up too much scents, but 
Juliet has a gun. It's a winner. The next perfume I'm going in with now to let you guys know about is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Midnight. Okay, so see we're getting into some sexy scents here because that's Lady Vengeance and this, this is, ooh, this is yummy, like date night requirement. I'm going to say that a lot about some of these because I make sure I smell really, really nice when I'm going out, you know? This scent has black currant, night blooming jasmine, and musk. It is a warm floral. Now, the musk is there for sure, and that jasmine is there. I'm going to spray it. It's sexy. It's a bit sweet, too. I have to say it's a little bit sweet, but... It smells delicious. Right now, this room is smelling yummy, okay? I'm spraying these, like, really nice scents, and the packaging is so cute. Like, you know, it's so cute. Now, I'm going to get into some of my classic favorites, right? The Versace, right? This scent is called the Versace Yellow Diamond, and I got the intense version because this intense one is going to last a long time. The bottle, the packaging is gorge, right? You see this, like this is, y'all see what it's giving. This packaging is so cute. I got the small bottle because like I said, when you spray this on yourself, you can smell it all night long. It, the scent will be stuck in your clothes. You can take a shower. You can scrub, 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 scrub. The scent will still have a tiny bit of lingering. Like, I'm telling you, like, this this scent is intense. Like, it is good. Um, I'm just going to read what they say about it on, you know, my computer. It is a fresh floral. The keynote is citrus from Diamante, orange blossom, and amber wood. Okay. I'm going to spray it now because, like I said, it's my face. And I'm going to spray it in the air and it's probably going to land on me somewhere. And I'm going to be smelling like yellow diamond for the rest of the night for sure. So. Okay, like I was saying, the floral is there, baby. And it is um, the orange blossom, amber wood, those two scents together. It gives a really, really, really nice scent. Like this. This is one of my top faves. Like, I've had this for a while. This is one of my top faves. But the next I'm going to show you, the next Versace is my favorite. So, that one is the Versace Crystal Noir. This one, I had to get the big bottle because I'm like, I need more and more of this. I, re I had to repurchase this number. This one, I love. This is like, I'm smelling now. I'm like, whew. Nostalgia, like I was saying, um, the key notes in this one is ginger, gardenia, and amber. It is a warm and spicy, warm floral. I'm going to spray this. Like, this is one of my top, like, anytime someone talks about this perfume, I said this is date, night, approved, okay? So I'm going to spray it. Like I said, I have to just... Give myself a little dab of this because it's like, whew, I love this one. Like, whew, I can't part with it. I have to. I, I told you it's my second bottle of this. I I love this one. Now, on to our next scent. What do we have next? Oh, my Jimmy Choo Blossom. Okay, it is around. <laughs> around seven and i'm filming i was using the sunlight at first and the sun went away so now i'm using my ring light so hence the change in light for the video i hope it still looks good you know reach out to me and let me know if you said it. it's like uh, what happened girl <laughs> it's not a thing so let me get back into this um now i'm going in to show you guys the jimmy choo blossom i have a funny story about this perfume because i really 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 wanted this perfume it was like Christmas a few years back and the store was sold out of it. This lady had the last one in her hand this Perfume retails for like a hundred bucks at that point and she had the last one in her hand. I'm like, ma'am I really 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 want this perfume 
I am willing to pay you two hundred dollars for it. Please give it to me. She's like, Oh no, I want it too. You can't have it. I'm like, But it's Christmas. I really want it. <laughs> she just she was not having me. I had to wait until after Christmas to go and purchase the scent, and I do not regret it because I still to this day I still wear it. I love it. It is a very sweet scent. I am gonna look at it here. Mm, it be giving me candy vibes though. Smell like candy. Oh, it smells like berries as well, like berry candy. Like it's so nice, and it's not a heavy, heavy scent. It's very light. Um, if you see the packaging is beautiful. It reminds me kind of like my um, Versace perfumes. The packaging is gorgeous. You know. Can you see it better? I wanted to focus. You know. Okay. So that's my Jimmy Choo Blossom, and like I said, I was ready to fight for this perfume. <laughs> and we're gonna get into that. Perfume that I am in love with also that Burberry Her Intense. I discussed this before in my Sephora haul because I bought this from Sephora a few months back, maybe back in April. Like, you know, go back to my video with my Sephora haul. I discussed this perfume as well and a few other stuff. I think you guys, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. I'm going to put the link for that video in the bio also. This is a warm and spicy, warm floral. You guys see the pattern right now with the fact that I like warm and spicy and florals. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to change all that a bit, but you know, we'll get there. So the keynotes of this perfume is blackberry, jasmine, and benzoin. And they said it's a sophisticated, dark, intense scent. I agree. It smells sophisticated. And spray it. Yummy. They said that this perfume is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. And I love this scent. This is yummy. Like, I usually, this is one of my day to day go to scents. Anytime I wear this, someone's like, people are always like, oh, what do you have on? What are you wearing? I got stopped inside of the grocery store, like, maybe at least about three times. What scent do you have on? Burberry Hair Intense. Okay. So let's get into my new favorites. I just got these perfumes recently because I'm trying to change up my scent a bit, you know. I'm getting a bit more, you know, mature. I want to change up my scent from smelling so candy and girly like, like, you know, too young and stuff like that. I'm going to get more mature scents. And I want to start layering my fragrances more as well. So I got the Dior Hypnotic Poison. This it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Like, okay, let me get, let me get carried away. The key notes of this is bitter almond, caraway spice, sambac, jasmine, cinnamon, tuberose, vanilla musk, and wood. Musk. <laughs> the style they said is hypnotizing, bewitching, and extravagant. You gotta tell me twice. Extravagant. Oh yes. This one I gotta spray on me. Whew. Don't we smell lovely? Whew. I'm bewitched, okay? yummy this is one of my top faves right now so okay I'm putting you guys on this is me trying to can't wink but that's my wink putting you on <laughs> next scent we're gonna go in with is the the all girl parfum not no order toilet Parfum. A lot of those scents that I'm talking about are parfum. I don't do toilets a lot unless it's a very intense, strong one. And at the end of this, like, you know, I'm going to unbox my perfume and it's a toilet, but strong like parfum. 
but let's get into the scent because the scent is mesmerizing I haven't even read this thing but it mesmerized me so I'm gonna tell you guys that it's mesmerizing okay <laughs> so this perfume is warm and sweet it has keynotes of warm rose sparkling neroli and icy orange okay and I'm gonna spray it on my body because Woo! you guys can smell me now it's not sexy that's only word for it sexy me <laughs> And I'm going to go and show you guys my tone for Noir right after that because this is a combo that I put together. These two together is, you're going to thank me later. You're going to come back into the video and say, say, you know, thanks for looking out, girl. You out here, you know, you're trying to help a sister out. You're trying to help us out out here. So we're going to go and discuss this one. This is warm and spicy, warm and sweet. Like, like I said, warm and spicy is what I've been going for because I used to do warm florals. Now I'm not warm and spicy. I try, trying to get, you know, a different vibe now. The key notes of this is bitter orange oil, rose, and rose absolute and amber. So now we're going to spray this on me because I want to smell delicious. So when you put these two together, magic. Don't say I didn't tell you, but it is magic. These two together are. Thank me later. Thank you. <laughs> so those two are it, and I'm gonna go into discussing a next favorite of mine, a recent purchase as well. I used to wear the Chanel and Fire. I got as a gift. I am not a fan yet. I have not got to that age yet where I may be a fan of Chanel number five. Maybe it's just not working on my body chemistries yet. So I got the Chanel, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, the pink one. This smells really, 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 really good. So I'm just gonna do a spray in the air. I think every girl deserves this. You should have this. This is a sweet scent and it's a bit, a tiny bit floral, not too much. But they recently actually came out with a night version of this. You can actually wear it to bed. The bottle is frosted. Oh my goodness. You can spray it in your hair. You can spray it when you go to bed. You can spray it on the sheets, everything. It smells really, really good. I highly recommend getting this and getting the night one. Because the night one is now on my list. Because I have to go and run in there and purchase that soon. I saw it online. I'm like, okay, I got to get that too. So, this one, I love. My last fragrance, I'm going to unbox this Hermes perfume. Okay, cute packaging. Um, I think the lady that told me, the, I think if I remember correctly, she gave me some samples as well. Uh, on Jordan Sur La Lang. they said this perfume won an award last year so I just want to um, make sure I have the accurate information on this one I'm just gonna <laughs> Google exactly what this perfume is gonna give us because I smelled it in the store, mind you. But however, I smelled it in the store. But what happened was now I haven't smelled it in a while, but I knew it was so good because I was gonna buy this other scent. And after I smelled this, I was like, change everything, change everything. I want this one. I want this. I want this. Make a box again. Okay. This song is an ASMR video, right? <laughs> I'd love to do an ASMR video. 
preferably with food. Okay? Um, I swear the video is getting dark, but I'm almost done, I swear. Um, okay. I got the big bottle. So, this perfume is a toilet. It's the only toilet I have in my collection. I'm looking, just making sure. Yes, it's the only toilet I have in my collection besides the Dior Poison, Hypnotic Poison. That's a toilet, but it's very strong, you know. So, this perfume, they said, is Magnolia Man Madonna Lily. And I'm just seeing if we have any other details here for us. Okay, floral and woody notes. I'm just going to get a smell of it right now to remind myself of what it was giving me. I'm just going to spray it on the back of my hand. Oof. Nice remember. You know, I see what I remember now about this, why I got it. This is a must have. This smells so good. And they, like, she told me this one on award last year, like, Best Woman's Fragrance, like, oh my goodness. This is good. Like, if you're looking to get into more, you know, mature scents as well. It's not too mature. Let's be real. <laughs> if you're looking to get into a different type of scent, this is it. I recommend, okay? That ends my fragrance collection. Mind you, I do have body sprays and all that stuff too, and lotions and stuff, but you know, this isn't about those because that's a whole other feat. You see, I went through so much perfume. So, thank you guys for sticking around. I'm just going to discuss the plan for the giveaway. Okay, if you're in Canada, you're going to get a $100 Zara gift card. And if you're international, you're going to get one of my top scents, right? You're going to get the. Why don't we just let that be a secret based on what you want? You know, the winner will get a choice of three fragrances. They get to pick which one of those three that they want. Okay? How about that? That sounds like a good idea. Um, to enter, please like this video if you want to enter. Follow me on Instagram and my post. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tag a friend in the comment below. That is the four rules to enter i'll be checking the steps have been completed and the winner will be announced when i hit 500 subscribers on youtube and when i hit 2,000 subscribers on instagram because this is my first giveaway i'm not gonna make it crazy by saying 10,000 and 5,000 no when i hit 500 subscribers on YouTube and 2,000 subscribers on Instagram. That is when I will announce the winner. So if you make sure you tag a lot of people, make sure you get them to subscribe, right? And you get a lot of people to, to follow me on Instagram. And I will announce the winner. And I can't wait to congratulate you with your prize, okay? <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking around till the end so you can hear about the giveaway. 